हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इट विल सपोर्ट मी नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 1242 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द वेलोसिटी ऑफ अ कार इज प्लॉटेड एज शोन सो वी आर गिवन दिस वीटी ग्राफ एंड वी आर आस्क्ड टू डिटरमाइन द टोटल डिस्टेंस द कार मूव्स अंटिल इट स्टॉप्स right so after 80 seconds the car stops and we have to find the total distance and then we have to construct the at graph so this is the vt graph right so if we write that velocity is equal to ds by dt or we can write that ds is equal to v dt and then to find the distance we have to integrate this right so whenever we apply the integration so this means that ds is the equal to the area under the vt curve so integration means that area under vt curve so now if we find the total area under this vt curve so that will be the total distance traveled by the car right so let's say that s of t is the total distance traveled so this is the area 1 area 1 of this rectangle and the area 2 of this triangle Right, so total distance travel will be equal to area one plus area two, and area one we can find area one, right? So this height, so this is ten, ten minus zero, so this is ten into this forty minus zero, right? So this is forty, and plus area two, so the area of the triangle is equal to half base, so the base is this eighty minus forty, right? So we can write this eighty minus forty. and height right so this is height so again the height is 10 minus 0 so we can write 10 so this is 400 plus 200 so the total distance traveled by this car in 80 second is 600 meters and now we are asked to plot a versus t graph right so if we write that a t graph right so from t greater than 0 until 40 second as we can see that the velocity is constant right so there is no change in velocity so if we want to find the acceleration so acceleration is dv by dt right so if there is no change in the velocity so the acceleration is zero right so from 0 to 40 seconds the acceleration is zero right so we can plot that directly so from 0 to 40 seconds the acceleration is zero as we can see right so this is the zero acceleration and now from uh, t greater than 40 and less than 80 second so we can find the acceleration so what will be the acceleration so again acceleration will be the slope of vt graph right so dv by dt so if we find the slope of this line so then that will be the acceleration value and again this angle is clockwise so this slope is negative remember right so if we find this slope so the acceleration from 40 to 80 second is equal to so now we have to find the slope right so first i will write minus sign since the slope is negative and then we have to find change in velocity so this is the change in velocity so change in velocity is 10 minus 0 right so i will write 10 minus 0 divided by change in time so 80 minus 40 so 40 second right so this is 40 so now this is the acceleration right so acceleration is this is minus 10 divided by 40 so this will give us acceleration is minus 1 divided by 4 meter per second square or we can write that the acceleration is minus 0.25 meter per second square right so from 40 to 80 seconds the acceleration is minus 0.25 now so we can plot it here right so this is 40 seconds this is 80 seconds so let's say that somewhere here is minus 0.25 right so what we will do is that we will draw a horizontal line here right so until 80 second the acceleration is uh minus 0.25 right so let me draw it clear line right so this will be a right so this is a versus t plot for this particular problem and this is the total distance traveled by the car so this is the solution of this particular problem